Hello, how y'all doing? I'm Jabron. Hope y'all having a good day, wherever you are. So, I want to talk about a post that I posted today about Michigan Child Support Office putting a false debt on my credit, which is affecting my credit, making my credit go down falsely and I don't owe any child support. The reason why I don't owe child support, I'm disabled. I had a TBI, so if you're like, oh, I don't see you, you got both arms and both legs, that's handicapped. That's not disabled. Disability means disability, means disabled to do whatever, for whatever reason, in a way where they can consistently do it for 40 hours and make a living. Okay, so now that we've covered that, uh, my concern is that um, I use the word white because the people who doing this is white because there's no black people running anything in Michigan somewhere, right? It's not no black, it's all black people at this part of the Michigan government. That's not going, that's not happening. And I feel I'm being targeted because it's out of nowhere. And because I'm disabled through social security, you know, if you're disabled, people, disabled people will know this. They contact you, right? Because you're working with them, <laughs> being disabled, right? They're going to tell you, like, hey, your children, this, da, 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 do this, do that, do this. That's all done. And if it was a child, which there is not, that was, um, uh, owed anything, why would Michigan be doing it? My daughter here in Michigan is like 32 years old. She was born in 1993. And again, anything that was there back or whatever like that, uh, once I, my disability kicked in, taken care of. Michigan knows this, but I think it's the perfect way to like, just do some crime, affect a citizen, a black citizen, in a way that a person would just be like, mm, it's probably true, right? I'm black, I'm a man. Of course he got some kids. He ain't pay his bill. That's not true, not true. I <laughs> have three children, one grown, one daughter who Tennessee, the state of Tennessee gave back to the mother who was found guilty of abusing the child, who was living with some guy who called herself a pimp. So, and now she's not even getting, she's 15. She's not even, they, Social Security said they didn't even know where the mother was, right? Okay, so then my son lives with his mother and I took care of that when that happened. I called the mom, do this, do that, contact Social Security, because they contacted me, and that's what she did. And when I investigated, once I found out uh, this was on my credit, the um, child support agency, tried to use my son's name. Like, it's for him. They would still be going through. <laughs> that's, that's stealing, right? Here, Social Security's paying them. Unless it's a scam going on, right? The mother could be scamming, I don't know. But it's somebody scamming, right? If she's already receiving benefits for the child through Social Security. And now the state of Michigan is saying, oh, it's some child support. Then somebody set up a lie, right? That's double dipping. 
So you want child support for the child that's getting money directly? <laughs> Somebody lying. Maybe, maybe the mother called Michigan because Michigan didn't check, right? How do we know she getting Social Security? Don't, right? Again, a setup. Perfect thing. It's a guy. He probably don't. That would be a, another lie. What do I do? Who am I? I mean, right? I mean, I don't know you. You don't know me. Well, I'm a former x-ray technician. I graduated from x-ray school in 1991. I did that for 16 years. In the middle, some stuff I changed. I thought I wanted to be an engineer, so I went to be a machinist. Very difficult task and a, a great occupation. Skills, skills, skills. And then at 39, I went into the military to use the, utilize the GI Bill uh, because I wanted to go back to school, make more money, right? I wanted to go back to school where I was already doing, which was x-ray, but I just wanted to go back to school at a college and get my degree and make more money, right? Uh, so I'm not whatever, you know, I'm not, I've worked hard to separate myself, right? X-ray technician, machinist, inventor. Dental hygienist for the United States Army. War winning, should I say, too. Uh, medic, National Guard, Michigan and New York. And these weren't, you know, when people say veteran, they think of like out in the, I didn't want to do that. What kind of stupid ass shit is that? The time to decide what you're going to do is when you go in and see your recruiter, right? The recruiter's going to do what's best and the best for the army, the needs of the army, and tell you all kind of stupid stuff. They got incentives for dumbass jobs that nobody wanted to do. And when I say dumbass jobs, please don't take that. I'm not saying they dumb. They dumb to me. I'm not saying they dumb up. They need the, the, the job is vital. It's just that to me, I wouldn't want to do it, right? I'm not saying anybody who's doing a job is stupid. I just wouldn't want to do it. Simple as that. And do I have a right to not want to fucking do something, right? I don't want to do that. Oh, you think you better too good for that? I do. Yes, I fucking do. Yes, I do. Soon I heard somebody somewhere say, you know, you can get paid for what you know, not for what you do. Sign me up for that shit right there. And that's what I did. X-ray technician. Hold your breath, please. Boop, boop. Except for the physical things, you know, because uh, I did all kind of modalities. Um, mobile x-ray, very strenuous. You're carrying pulling the uh, x-ray machine upstairs in people's houses. You got people, you know, not ambulatory. Everybody's not walking, all right? So anyway, I digress. Um, these people don't like me, right? Because I was a medic, right? They would like me if I was a cook or something, right? Maybe you would like me better if I was a cook, right? Maybe in your mind, you was like, who is this guy be putting these videos up and doing this da 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 I'm me. But I'm not you. I'm not nobody you know, I don't think, because I've never met anybody like me. Not to say that I'm, but I am, because I've worked hard to separate myself from people. And it's easy to do in this day and age, because the standards are so low to the point where criminal people can utilize the government system in Michigan to put false information on a citizen's credit and affect their credit. And everything costs more than. I don't know if this is a, a, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's just, let's make this motherfucker pay more. Why, why would I be paying more? Because your white ass say so. And when I say that, he they white. 
I'm not saying all white people is the, white people even know white people they don't like. Russia, Ukraine, they both white. Maybe not to you, but everybody else see them as white people. So when I say white, don't, I mean, I don't give a fuck. Tell the truth what you think, right? I'm on here because hopefully somebody with some integrity will care about a veteran, right? Because Michigan is saying, oh, we want people here. Well, I have income, right? But because of things like this, that's why I'm here sitting in front of a window with my ride out at a motel instead of being in my own home because white people keep putting shit on my credit. Just, just like the last place I lived. Well, not the last place, but the place before that. Uh, Riversfront Towers in Detroit. These people put extortion on my credit. Basically just paid a, 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 a collection agency to say I owed them $3,000. And of course, what is that gonna do coming from an apartment complex? It looks like an eviction, but it's not an eviction. It's just some low down, evil people without no integrity. And look, look who they doing it to. Oh, you did it to that guy. You mean the disabled dude that's 50? Six, you did it to him, the one that got injured while he was in the military. While you was out doing whatever the fucking dumbass shit. You know, I, I didn't get injured out fucking around, right? I wasn't in, in the street riding around doing donuts and shit and then get injured and then now I want something. No, in the service of my country, right? And yet, here are these people. Uh, I, let's, let's go. Let me explain this something. I know how to be served because I serve, right? I know how to do my job and not talk to the person that I'm serving because they're paying for something and I'm working, right? We're not going to be friends just because they're black. And why would I do that to somebody? Here they on vacation or they doing whatever. And because they, just because they mother and father happen to be black, so they come out black. I know them. What up, bro? Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. I ain't got to do my job for you because you black. No, the fuck you do that to do your job. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Because I'm paying my money. And I don't give a fuck about you. I don't know you. You're not my motherfucking brother. Not. Nah, I don't even fucking know you. Just because my mother and father is black don't mean I got to... I'm not George Jefferson. I don't want to have a friendship with the maid and the, the guy at the door, right? And here I was paying $1,500 a month. I figured downtown Detroit, you would say, well, evidently this guy is just like this. He's an eccentric person, like to keep to himself. Uh, what's the problem? Well, here was the problem. They had black people like the security guard who once I, once they saw me, Right, my, I put my, my vehicle in storage at the time and I just caught public transportation because I really didn't go too far. I was in downtown Detroit where I had to go that I had, I need a car. Anyway, um, my memory is so bad, what was I talking? Um, where was I? Man, I hate that y'all get a chance to see that happen. Uh, I was talking about the, oh, so once they see me, know me, right? I'm Jabron. I live here. I'm walking now, right? I'm not driving in, right? White people are walking in. They on their bikes. They're on scooters. They're doing all kind of stuff, and they don't stop at the sh the guard shack. But when I come back, and I walk by, here they go. Hey, hey, hey! Guess what I do? Just keep on walking till they run they dumb ass down there. You gotta stop at the shack. No, I don't. Why? You didn't stop them white folks. And you're not gonna do that to me. I'm not gonna come in this motherfucker every time I'm coming home. And then the the people wanna talk to me. Hey, da, da, da. The, the security guard wanna come to my house. 
I don't want to fuck you. You fat to me. Look at me, I'm skinny, right? I pick who I want to fuck, and it's not your fat ass. Just because some woman smile in my face don't mean I want to fuck her. Fuck you, right? I, you cost money, and I like money more than I like people because I need money to live. I don't fucking need people. They just another motherfucking mouth that's going to be shitting and asking for stuff, right? You might think you doing good, but I'm doing a lot better by myself because I have more for me, all right? Anyway, I don't want to talk to the people that work where I live. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. Why do I, why do you want to talk to somebody who lives somewhere you work anyway? What do we have in common? Well, I want to get there one day. Good. Why do we have to talk ever again? And then the management so stupid, instead of them saying, hey, you, you got to stop doing that. They just let it fester and fester until here they go. Just made a problem. We went our ways on they, they were. They gave me a notice to quit, which is them breaking the lease. I went to a, a housing authority to find this out. And then here they go. Why? Because retribution. Most of the things that happen to me is, is white people and black people mad that they didn't get a chance to shit on me. How dare he try to not be shitted on? What kind of, who does that? These people, these people. I move out to California because that's where I wanted to move. Get into another place and later on see this on my credit. And I would just refuse to pay an extortion bill of $3,000. Why would I pay $3,000 on something that couldn't get no help? Call the, the, the credit thing. And, and, and tell them when I do a dispute, regular knowledge, like, you know, it makes sense. Hey, if I owed them money, they should be able to produce a um, court order, right? Some, some order, because why would I owe somebody without a court order? If, that's the, if, if you don't need a court order, then you could be in an apartment building working with a, a collection agency and y'all just have the uh, former resident's social security number and just extorting people for money. If they're not gonna check, right? If they're not gonna say, well, we need something legal that says this person, not just, uh, is it John uh, Harrington? Yeah, it's John Harrington. You owe. What the fuck? Just because my, <laughs> this is the dumbest shit ever. These are fucking dumbass motherfuckers. Again, I'm a medic. Dental hygienist, x-ray technician, machinist. It's my job to think these motherfuckers be lost. That's why I don't like people either, because I know what I'm going to do. I don't know what these dumbass motherfuckers going to do. And I don't care what the color they are, because I lived around white people too. Some, you know, some smart, some not smart, some lazy, some not lazy, some dirty, some not dirty. So I don't want to hear that bullshit, right? Miss me with that. All right, I've been around you. Guess what? White people that have guys in the house, they have like hair on the toilet because they balls be shedding. How do I know? Because I was in the military and that's what was on all the fucking stalls. Bunch of ball hair, nasty, disgusting shit. Anyway, uh, you know, they made a problem and, and, and people just make a problem because they, I won't let them shit on me. Why, why do I have to put my head down for you? Why do I have to be some kind of way? I'm an American. They, they said I should be able to stand up. Here, I, I, I thought I, they said, you should go to school. I go to school. What I should not be like, have, all right. The world is so now they don't even want you to celebrate uh, graduating. I love uh, Channel 7's uh, The Best of the Best. Ever since I was young, I never was the best of the best, but I like those kids doing the best of the best, and I like the little song and everything. I mean, it's just a good feeling to celebrate somebody who done put in some work, right? And nowadays, you, they can't even say they the best of the best. Some motherfucker that feelings had hurt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they the best of the best. They better than your stupid ass. They, they proved it in school. They got a record of it. Your dumb ass answered a 70. They did a 99. Accept it. The same thing with me. I graduated x-ray school. I graduated machinist. I made it. Not People say military like you can join and they 
just give you shit. They will put your ass out. I had to <laughs> do the schoolwork. So many months. <sighs> we started out with a lot of people, and a lot of people didn't make it. So it's hard for anybody to make me not be like, dude, I'm the best of the best of the best. I am. <laughs> That's what they said at graduation. Y'all the best of the best. Y'all made it where others didn't. Follow me. And some of the toughest places. I went to Fort Benning for my basic. Home of the infantry. There wasn't no shortcuts. They wasn't like uh, one of these places that they be saying is cushy or whatever. No, in Fort Benning, Georgia. Anyway, um, I wish, I hope somebody who has the power or authority to go tell, you know, like the news. Why the news don't help somebody like me, right? You know why? Because I'm not what they, I'm not like a, yeah, I was, I was, I used to, if I was like that, then they'd help me, but I'm not like that. Or if I was a homosexual, right? It seemed like you gotta be a gay person, a person like this, I need help. Uh, me, I you, uh, or a woman with a bunch of kids. That's how you get help. And I'm neither one, none of that. I'm not gonna play no games. I'm not gonna act. I'm not. I'm not doing none of that. I'm not doing none of that. And I think it's it should be exposed for what it is: just racism, discrimination by some stupid motherfuckers mad because they just some devils, just like they daddy Satan. Satanic losers, mad. I'm gonna fuck up his credits. I don't want him going no place, right? Everything that's wrong with the world, you can't even have a fair level playing field because people like them. He said, what? I'm gonna make sure, follow you around, just doing dumbass ignorant, stupid ass shit that don't even fucking matter. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? It just don't fucking matter. It don't matter. Don't, 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 it don't matter. Uh, but yeah, I make those NFTs too, right here on this iPad. So if anybody's like, um, he don't be making that stuff. Yeah, I do. <laughs> right here on my iPad. I can flip through this shit. I do AI art. I had a, a TBI, a stroke, so my fingers, I, I, my hand trembles, so I can't just draw, right? So through text and image, I can do and then do some little hand stuff and, and everything. I got a little pen. I do my little stuff with it. Uh, so don't be like, oh, he not doing that. I'm talented as hell. I'm <laughs> more talented than you. I'm disabled and I'm still trying to be the, the best I can be. Still trying to have the best quality life I can have. And here these fuckers are trying to not have me. Uh, I don't have to think of, how do it feel to be a slave and have your children taken away? They took mine away in 2016, right? And ain't nobody said shit. I called the NAACP in Georgia to have them come to the court, just to have somebody there to see what was going on. Like, just come look at this shit. We don't have nobody. You're not important unless they can exploit you. I don't know what they, I mean, here I was a black dude in the military. My child was like 15 months and you can't send somebody? See, I'll be getting down. Text the image, hand drawn. I did this. Where your NFTs at? Mm -hmm. I don't know where your NFTs at. I know where mine is. Right here. Some I didn't even I haven't shown yet. I did that one though. Got a lot of stuff I don't. I mean, I have so many that I don't even be doing a lot. I go through and pick. Oh, that, there's pieces because I was making. See, that shows that I'll be doing stuff. Who knows? That was not a, a naked woman. I want y'all to know that. Wherever that was. It just looked like it. I think it was this one. And text to image is really difficult. 
this didn't come out like this. Well, well, see here, this don't got the glowing. This was before, and this is how her eyes was when the computer did it. You know, it might be things wrong with the nose, look at the mouth or something like that. I have to go in and I have to fix all that stuff. So people who like, he don't be doing that, he just do. AI hey, do it, the computer, that's a fucking lie. Not, a, not in mine. I don't, I don't just do computer. Some people just do the prompt. I don't just do the prompt because I've never been able to do a prompt that everything in the picture was done. Like, I'm like, I'm seeing, I'm seeing things that's wrong. Like this one, this is a combination of a lot of stuff. Got the text, the image, then I had to go in. I put this jeans and stuff on there. I put the Nikes, you know what I'm saying? You got to put little stuff, the, 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 the crypto, or the um, stocks and stuff like that. Uh, you know, again, going in TRS and putting different things. You know. Anyway, just wanted to include that because some people might not, you know, they're not talented, right? They, they can't make nothing, right? But I do. And these can go anywhere, everywhere with me. And if you're and the whole point is to, you know, sell them to collectors that appreciate art made by a person, not a machine, not a group of people, just one people. Now, you can buy an NFT from people. They say they have a great community. How many people contributed to those computer-generated monkeys or whatever they're doing? Because it's just they do one thing and then they had a computer just do a bunch of variations. That's not what this is. Everything is one by one. I come up with each thing by itself. I, it's no, I put in a girl on a motorcycle and then say, I want some variations. That's not what happened. It's not. I mean, I just, a different prompt for everything I'm doing. I might be wanting to do, I don't know. This one, I was trying to do a logo and trying to get it to say TRS, but you see the words never came out, right? On these four, right? And that's how it would be. It'll be stuff messed up and you have to go in if you're not lazy, right? And fix it. And that's what I do. That's what make it worth something because it's touched by me. I put the prompt in so it's me, man, and computer combining to make something unique that wasn't there before, All right? So with that, I hope somebody, I hope you guys don't be like, oh, he's a racist. <clears throat> I serve this country <laughs> and, and I was besides people that was white, Latino, Asian, all different colors. And we was wearing the same uniform. I don't subscribe to your ignorant, stupid shit, right? So don't put me in that dumbass shit, right? I raised my hand during war and I said to protect Americans from all right evil, foreign and domestic. And the same for fucking shit now. I don't be doing shit to, I'm not out trying to swindle and for the stupid people. If I post and say add tiny robots for cash app, I might send five dollars. You should be adding tiny robot superheroes on cash app. Because I might send $5. I might send $200. Maybe I'm feeling like I'm going to take my percentage that I might want to tie that month. And I might send it to you. You never know. But you'll never get it because you're so fucking stupid. Right? You're so damn dumb. He trying to, he, he going to do a reversal. I'm not going to do a reversal shit because I don't steal. If I was going to steal, I wouldn't be stealing <laughs> I don't even know how to do that shit. I don't, I, I don't know how to do that. I know how to write prompts and stuff, but I don't know how to steal nobody. I don't know how to go through nobody's computer. I didn't spend time doing that. Who the fuck sits around learning how to do stuff like that? I don't know how to steal a car. I don't know how to break in a house. I don't know how to, none of that shit because I wasn't ever one to do it. I never said, I want to know how to break into Never thought about that. I need to know how to do the code. Then send them a post a thing saying, add me on Cash App so I can steal their money. That is the dumbest shit ever. 
I, I'm, at, I'm telling you because you, I don't know if you even have any savings. Do you have any savings? Do you have some Bitcoin? Fucking Ethereum, whoever you are, right? You know, most of the people that would be watching my videos, I think they my haters and shit. Because, you know, most people, they just don't get it. You know, I put so much very stuff. And the music that I be doing. Oh, shit. You know, I be doing that right here, too. Right? On Garage Band. Right? See? Let's see. I don't know what this song is. See, look. Let's push play. Right? So, if you like, oh, he don't be making that stuff. Again, sorry, I'm talented. <laughs> I've been making music most of my life. I don't know, somehow, some way. You know, and I don't be like, you know, I don't go in no, well, sometimes I go in the studio, but mostly it's just on my iPad or my phone. Just making a little shit, you know, pastime. It's a pastime. Most people don't have a pastime because they don't know how to pass time. They always need something to do. Something stupid, preferably. But me, I like to do pastimes. And if I, you see a post with the racing, don't be like, oh, that's childish. If you're a woman and you interested, you're gonna have to get down with some racing on the racing games. That's gonna be a sexy thing. You can race and I can rub your feet. That's about as hot as we gonna get because I'm celibate, right? But companionship, maybe. Anyway, y'all have a good day and be blessed.